La Charité sur Loire, a small medieval town on the Loire River with a magnificent church, picturesque narrow streets, and an astonishing number of bookshops. Many of them are on the town's main street. Christian Valerio was the town's first bookshop owner. He returned to his hometown in 1992 after spending 25 years in Paris. When we came here between 1992 and 1999, the town was a little worse for wear and nothing was happening. So we thought we could change that by making La Charité sur Loire into a town of books. We thought the town was well suited to the idea. The mayor liked the idea too. I am generally open to new ideas, and I think it's good when citizens give input. Sometimes it works, sometimes not. But the book idea is really a huge success. I was enthusiastic from the beginning. The mayor asked Zenia Desfontaines to foster and market the project. Christian Valerio made use of his contacts to persuade people to open up second-hand bookshops in the town. Back then, 23 shops on this street were empty. Now, 12 bookshops have opened here, plus cafes, restaurants and souvenir shops. So this initiative has really revived the town. And thanks to this project, the local council has renovated the entire neighborhood, renewing the streets and the pavements. In the year 2000, La Charité sur Loire was officially named Town of Books. But along with bookshop owners, calligraphers and typographers were also attracted by the project. Carlos Sanchez Alamo is a bookbinder, and his wife, Elz Baikeland, is a calligrapher. Both of them came here from Paris in the summer of 2008. Our professions have something in common. We all work with books. That's why we liked the idea. And we're not too far away from Paris. La Charité sur Loire regularly stages events linked to books. The trade fairs and festivals and the monthly book markets draw exhibitors and both domestic and foreign tourists. More than half of the town's 50,000 annual visitors come especially for the books. The atmosphere here can't be compared to that of surrounding communities. Even in larger towns like Nevers, there isn't much going on. Our little town is very active. But in a way, La Charité sur Loire is the victim of its own success. These days, there are no more shops to let, even for people who want them. And rents have risen drastically. Understandable, really. After all, which bookworm wouldn't want to live here?